Hello, welcome to WiseLink Academy. For today, we are going to be drawing the orthographic projection of this figure you are seeing at the right hand side of the screen in first angle projection. Let me show you how the orthographic projection of this figure will look like. Alright, this is what I'll be seeing. This is my orthographic projection. If you see the diagram at the right corner of the screen at this point, there's an, the arrow is facing this point. So, wherever the arrow is facing is called the elevation. So, this is my elevation, this is my plan, and this is my what, side view. Looking at this from this point, I'll be seeing this. Looking at this one from this angle here, I'll be seeing this from the top. I'll be seeing this guy. So let's draw the uh, orthographic projection. To draw the orthographic projection, let's draw our orthographic asics. So take it this way. Right. Also, I'll take it down this way. So I've done that. I'll take my compass. What we are doing is called orthographic asics. So measure one centimeter. At this point, take it one, two, three, and um, four this way. The depth of my set square, I'll take it up to that same up this way. Also, take this up to then I'll take this guy this way, it's this square, right? So, take this square this way, this point one, then do this way. Also, at this point, to extend it down this way. So, what I just did now is called the orthographic asics, right? So, this is my orthographic, uh, this is my first quadrant here. This is my second quadrant here. This is my third quadrant and my fourth quadrant at this point. Now, listen, please. I want to draw the first angle projection. So I, this is my first, this is my um, elevation here. So it will be up here or this point, any of the two. But I'm choosing this point. So from the um, diagram, sorry, if you don't know, if you don't know how to draw this figure, I will draw the link on how to draw this figure on this video description. So check the video description. You see the video on how to draw this figure. Now let's start. The dimension from this point to this point is given to be 60 from the waist on. From this point to this point is 30. From this point to this point here, from here to here is 10. Here to this point here to 10. Here is equal to 10. Right? This height here is 20. Right? I have 20 there. So let's start. Um, Drawing out the figure. Now, if you observe, this figure is facing like this. So, what I'm doing will be facing like this. So, draw my elevation first. The height from here to here is what? What is here? Which is 20. So, I'll measure 20 as my height. So, from here to here is 20. I'll take in it. I've done that. The entire length from here to here is 60. So measure 60 on my meter row. 60 from here to this point is 60. I'll take in it. Right? I'll take in that point. Also, I'll take my T square this way. Take it straight line upward. Right? So I will take my set square. I will draw a vertical line to connect this. As you can see. Also, I'll take it down this way line so that is my elevation but if you observe closely if I look at this figure here I'll be seeing an angle line let me show you this line here you know if you look at it this way you can't see this line so this line here is this line you are seeing eating right so we said from here to here is 10 from here to here is 10 so from here somewhere here somewhere here measure 10 so from somewhere here to here 
is 10. So at that 10, I will to draw my leading line to show that I can see this figure, this line here. If I look at it at this this way, so leading line, leading line. So I have successfully draw out my elevation. Let's draw out the plan, which is this guy here. To draw out the plan, simply take your elevation all the edge downward. Take this one to including this leading line downward. As you can see, from this point to this point, it's given to be this point to this point, which is 30. So I'm wearing 30 from this point here to this point is 30. Taking I'll taking it. Also, don't need to measure this, just close this part up, right? And also close this part up. These two parts is these two parts here. Now observe the, the from here to here is 10. As you can see here to here is 10, which is here to here is 10. So measure 10 at this edge here, measure 10. At this second edge, measure 10. Right? So without even stressing myself, I'll close this part up. I'll also close this part up. So I'll take this this way. So I have successfully draw out my plan. This is my elevation, my plan. So to get my side view or perhaps end view, what do I do? I'll take my photo of this set square. I mean this man, this one. I'll this edge center here. I will put it there. And I'll what? Draw a straight line downward. So I'm done with this. So this is what I'll do here. All this edge here, I'll transfer it to that 45 degree. I do this one too. I'll transfer it down to this point. I'll transfer this point here to down. So all those points I've transferred, I'll take them upward. Take this point here, upward. Take this point here too, upward. And take this last point here too, upward. Also, do the same thing here. I'll connect the edge point with this last point here. Nothing again. So now, um, with the help of my, I won't do your elevation and plan. Without measuring anything, your side view will produce itself out itself. How? Year to year is year to year. Taking it, it's taking. Observe how taking it. From this point to this point, the same thing as this point to this point here. This to this, which is this to this. I'll taking it. Also, I was taking this point here to. Also with this point here to observe, I'll close this part here. I'll close this part here together. You see, without measuring anything at this point, uh, if if you correctly draw your elevation and your plan very well, without measuring anything, your plan will produce itself out, as you can see. So if you have found this class helpful, do not forget to click on the subscribe button and like. Thank you. Welcome to WiseLink Academy. Thanks for watching.